Take your place. How are you? Why don't you go ahead and get on up for me? I'll take care of you. Okay. Come on. I'm okay. Well, you're okay? All right. Why don't you go ahead and stand up for me? Let me help you understand. There's been a tremendous movement in the last few years since, let's say, the early 90s. And there was a time when a person could be approached who had died in the, in the outdoors, and a decision on the manner of death would be made by officers and sergeants on the street. Those days are over. They have changed. Several things have changed. One of the things that we do with every death now, and especially the outdoor deaths that we're finding, we approach that, as Martha said, as a crime scene. The tape goes up. People are excluded from the scene. Everyone who enters the scene, their name is taken down meticulously by an officer who is, who is tasked to guard that scene. And then we call out our crime scene specialists to come out and look at that scene, determine what they can from the scene. There was a time, and it was not too long ago, when people who died outdoors were not autopsied. That day is ended. Uh, Dr. Raven, who is the head um, of our uh, medical examiner's office, insists that all bodies be brought in who don't die in, like in a home, or an expected death, or in a hospital. Those people are brought in for autopsy, and they do a thorough job, including toxicology. Toxicology, uh, if the person has not been dead for too long, like if it was a, you know, someone who died months ago, that would be very difficult. But they do toxicology to determine if there are poisons in that person's system. Uh, they do uh, uh, check for uh, things like alcohol level, illegal, illegal drugs, all those kinds of things. So they're doing a much more thorough job. Are we going to hit every single one and be correct on every single one? No. And that's unfortunate. But it's the same way for everyone in our population. However, we have improved the way that we do things. And I truly appreciate the leadership that uh, Chief View has brought to our department, as did Chief Hume, as did uh, all the previous chiefs, in trying to keep us up to date and push us forward so that our techniques are the cutting edge. So in answer to your question is, yes, these, these folks have all received proper autopsies by fully qualified medical examiners. We work with the community, we work with the medical examiner's office, we work with folks who know these individuals to try to determine what the cause of death is. Uh, you understand there are different manners of death. Basically, it's the medical examiner who has to decide whether it's a suicide, a homicide, a natural, or an accidental death. Those are the four categories. Um, thus far, we know that some of these folks who have died outdoors died. Uh, one person definitely was a homicide. They solved that homicide right away. Um, another couple of those people were accidental deaths because they were traffic accidents that took place. So. I want to make sure that you understand we recognize that there have been um, shortcomings, certainly in the past, Marcus, there have been shortcomings in the past, and we're trying to make sure that we do a proper job where everyone is concerned as a police department. Um, the statistics, I understand how that sort of thing can play heavy in a person's mind, but there's really not a way to manipulate those statistics. Uh, as a police department, the statistics are what they are. We'll try to do as good a job and be as sensitive as we can in working with folks as we work through these things. Did, were there other questions? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I've noticed the list of the um, of the people who have died and uh, their their name and age and location, but I haven't seen a list posted um, as to the cause of death that that the. Yeah. Uh, 
medical examiner determined right. and is that going to be... We, we have shared that with some folks and we would share that privately with, with people from the community. You could come to my office and I could share those things with you. Uh, but we don't want to publicize that. We want to be sensitive to families and their need for privacy in these things. Some people would not appreciate that. So we want to be very cautious with that. So what we see is out of the last 26 uh, deaths that have been reported from people who have expired outside, out of doors in a sort of a homeless type um, environment, uh, 24 of them we have determined the cause of death. Two are still outstanding, the two most recent we don't know about. But of the 24, only one has been a homicide and we've made arrests in that case. Uh, the rest of them are typically hypothermia or chronic alcohol um, ingestion or, or, or I mean, extreme alcohol ingestion or a combination thereof.